Whether you're a workaholic who barely has time to open the fridge, or a busy stay-at-home mom, these kitchen hacks will make your life easier. This is 33 kitchen tricks and food hacks that are borderline genius. 1. Great cold butter Your stick of butter has to be close to frozen for it to work, and you must work fast to keep it from melting. If you don't chill the ingredients, the butter will melt into the dough and the scones will turn out dense. The grated butter is perfect for adding to flour before baking biscuits, scones, muffins, etc. 2. Pop up the avocado stem to see if it is ripe or not. Simply pop up the little button on your avocado and check the color underneath it. If it's yellow or green, you're good to go. If it's brown, the avocado is too ripe. If it doesn't come off easily, it's not ripe enough. To get the avocado pit out, simply cut to the tip and pull it off. And while you're at it, slice it up in the shell and use a spoon to scoop out your perfectly cut pieces. If you need to store them, use lemon slices to keep them from going brown. 3. When you crack your egg, sometimes the eggshell will break off into small pieces. If you don't have anything else at the moment, use one of the eggshell halves to scoop it out. Or you could also use your finger to fish out the eggshell by wetting your finger first. 4. Use a pizza cutter to cut up ingredients into very small pieces. If the closest you get to making homemade pizza is ordering from the pizza place next to your home, then your pizza cutter probably needs some love. Use it when you really need some ingredients to be really, really small, like cut up basil. 5. Test egg freshness with water. Fill a bowl with enough cold water and then place the eggs in the water. The egg on the left is very fresh, the one in the middle is about a week old, and the one on the right is nearly three weeks old. Although this trick is handy, please don't march to your grocery store and request for a bowl of water before buying your eggs. 6. Use dental floss to cut soft foods. There will be no mess, no knife sticking events, and no hassle. Slide the floss under a rolled cake or bread and pull both ends up. For cheese, hold both ends across the wedge, tighten, and cut across it. 7. Easy way to peel an orange With a few clever cuts of a knife, you can peel an orange and eat it without juice dripping all over your hands. Here's how you do it. First, cut the top of the orange, and then cut the bottom part as well. Slit the side parts of the orange just a little until the skin is parted. Open it up and enjoy your orange in strips. 8. Mini Bacon Egg Cups Yep, bite-sized bacon and egg awesomeness. Here's the instructions. Spray a nonstick spray in 12 muffin tins. Wrap each piece of bacon along the sides of each muffin cup. Fill each bacon-lined muffin cup three-quarters of the way with the egg mixture. Bake for 30 to 35 minutes until the egg cups are golden brown and use a knife to scoop them out of the tins. 9. Remove strawberry stem with a straw A strawberry stem can't be that hard to remove, but a clean-cut way to vanish it is by using a straw. Insert the straw from the bottom, push it up, and the stem will be removed all the way. 10. Freeze leftover sauces in ice cube trays The cubes can be reheated later when you need a quick sauce. 11. Lay wooden spoons on the pot to prevent the water from boiling over while you're cooking pasta. 12. Thumbprint for even cooking Burger patties may cook round and swell if you put it straight into the cooking pan. Put your thumbprint in the middle of the patty before cooking and the indentation will make sure that it will cook evenly. 13. Keep apple slices fresh with honey and water when fleshy fruits like apples are cut open and exposed to the air, their insides will often turn brown within minutes as a result of the oxidation process. However, with natural ingredients like honey and water, you can prevent your fruit from turning brown. First, place your sliced fruit into a medium-sized bowl. Mix together one tablespoon of honey and one cup of slightly warm water. Pour the honey and water mixture over the fruit. Allow the fruit slices to soak in the honey and water mixture for 30 seconds. Your fruit slices will now appear bright and fresh looking for up to 8 hours. 14. Peel garlic the easy way This is not the job I like to sign up for, but this technique looks too much fun to pass up. 
Start with a whole garlic bulb, and then use a bowl or the palm of your hand to break apart the bulb of garlic. After it looks like this, put the garlic cloves in a sealable container and shake. Dump everything out and separate the cloves from the skins, and now you have peeled garlic that's ready to use. 15. Apple cutter to cut potatoes into wedges. If you thought an apple slicer was just for slicing apples, you thought wrong. This food hack will save you time and cut down on the washing up, too. To make your potato wedges, you don't even have to peel your potatoes. Or if you do, you'll make chips. Pop the potatoes onto a wooden board, grab your apple slicer, press down firmly, and ta-da! You've got potato wedges. This hack works best on small or medium-sized potatoes, but if you only have larger spuds, you can cut them in half before you start. 16. If you crack eggs on a flat surface, it will open more cleanly instead of on the edge of a bowl. 17. When reheating leftovers, leave a circle in the middle of your food. It'll heat much more evenly. 18. Wrap banana stems in cling wrap to keep them fresh longer. Simply cut a small piece of clear plastic wrap about the size of the palm of your hand and then wrap the banana stem with it. 19. Keep potatoes from budding. Place an apple in with your potatoes to keep them from sprouting. The reason is because apples produce ethylene gas, which keeps the potatoes from sprouting. 20. Keep your cutting board from sliding. Sharp knives are not a good combination with cutting boards that slide all over the counter. Use a wet paper towel under your board to keep it in its place. 21. Keep your salad fresh through a paper towel. Keep your salad fresh by straining the remaining water, put the salad in a bowl, top it with a paper towel to absorb its moisture, then cover the whole thing with cling wrap. 22. DIY Travel Cup This stuff works like magic. All you need to do is stretch a piece of press and seal over the open part of the cup and voila! Your own DIY travel mug. 23. How to eat a watermelon the right way First, turn the watermelon over on the chopping board. Then use knives to cut a strip about an inch wide. Turn it around and do the exact same thing over again. And there we have it! Simple and ready to serve! 24. DIY Frozen Yogurt Pops First, pick up a 4-pack of strawberry yogurt singles. Poke in the 4 popsicle sticks and pop them in the freezer. When you are ready to eat, Open the seal through the stick, run it under hot tap water for about 10 seconds, slip off the plastic cup, and snack time is on! 25. Freeze grapes for ice cube alternatives for wine Do you like your wine chilled? When you're faced with a hot glass of red wine on a warm summer night, try throwing in a few frozen grapes. The chilled fruit won't dilute the wine or release much flavor. 26. Roll lemons before cutting and juicing. This will burst the tiny juice-filled cells in the lemon's flesh, allowing more of the juice to be extracted. 27. Hard-cooked eggs in a muffin pan. Baking eggs instead of boiling them is better since it can lessen the egg's sulfurous smell and the egg texture is a whole lot creamier. Here's how to do it. Preheat your oven to 325. Place a dozen eggs into a standard 12-count muffin pan. Bake for 25 to 30 minutes. After baking, place the hard-cooked eggs into a cold water bath. Crack and peel your pretty eggs. No gouges or shell marks from peeling, just easy, perfect little eggs. There you have it. Lovely little hard-cooked eggs in a muffin pan. 28. Line cake pans with parchment paper. Line your baking pans with parchment paper before making brownies or cakes. Then you can simply just pull it out. Easily cut and not have to worry about the mess. 29. Simple ways to cut cherry tomatoes Don't you hate it when you have to cut a lot of cherry tomatoes and it takes a long time to finish it? Simply put the cherry tomatoes between two plates, then, with a sharp knife, cut through the gap. The cherry tomatoes will be cut up perfectly. 30. Microwave the pizza with a glass of water A day-old pizza can be soft, chewy, and gross, a former shell of the delicious treat you bought yesterday. By microwaving your pizza with a glass of water, you'll restore the pie to its former glory. 31. 
Shred chicken in less than a minute. Take a whole cooked chicken breast hot from the pan or boiling water and place it into your KitchenAid with a beater attachment. Add your splatter guard if you have one and turn that bad boy onto a medium setting for about 45 seconds. And like magic, you get shredded chicken in seconds. Hello, time saver! 32. Pick up the egg yolk with your hand or with an empty bottle. Three, how to cut a bell pepper without seeds. This is a very simple process. All you have to do is cut off the bottom, cut off side one, cut off side two, cut off side three, cut off side four, and discard the core. That's all for now. For more kitchen hacks and organizing ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.